Okay, hello. Hi, my name is Mariah. Most people call me Bird because I have several birds in my bus and I used to be a bird rescue. Um, that's kind of how I started this life. I lost my home, lost my rescue, and ended up in a minivan. My minivan was totaled and then I got this little school bus, which I can stand up in, which is so much better. So, you know, sometimes blessings come disguised. Mm. <laughs> On the other side of all that hardship was this thing. <laughs> so this is where I live. Come on in. I've got a mess going. I've been cooking for people. We are at Van Aid right now. Um, so there's people, some lady tore out her bed and somebody was building it for her. So I knew that both of them probably couldn't cook today. So I cooked them a meal. So I've got a big old mess in here. So come on in. <laughs> it is beautiful. Okay. Beautiful wall. Yes. Yeah, so this wall came out of my minivan. That's why it's weirdly shaped because nothing in a minivan is straight if you're building out a minivan just so you know um, so this wall is there's pieces of my fence from being a bird rescue this is pieces of my fence this is your uh, kitchen light up above it had broken so we used the material and behind all of these used to light up it doesn't light up anymore I've got to get that fixed even this whole thing lights up um, and this wall was going to be the kind of my life story, how I got into van life, how I ended up here. And so, so far I've got these from the bird rescue. Um, I've got this because I did hospice for 14 years. I did roller derby, so I was going to put a little roller skate wheel on there. I just haven't really finished it, but that's the idea. So this is my, my life wall. <laughs> here, actually. That was gross. That. So, that and you did all this, you put it together yourself. I did. When I started, I did not know how to put a drill bit in the drill. Um, this was the hardest thing I ever did besides birthing a child. <laughs> Honestly, this was so difficult. Many, many nights I laid on the floor and cried because I just didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing. Um, most people would say this is plug and play. A lot of the pieces were already built. It's not like I built them myself, but it was still very, very difficult. So these and what else? Uh, this pulls out is one of those pantries came out of an old RV. Um, so I just had to cut them to fit. I had to make a new end for this one. This one has a hole in it, which is why this is the bird's cage. I didn't know how to fill the hole. That is actually the top of a plant stand, <laughs> which is super cool. Makes her a nice Very little spot nice. to hang out. It's a lucky bird. Yeah. <laughs> and she, you know, flies around and stuff. Um, let's see. This, the Lazy Susan, the slide under the bed, and this cabinet came from Restore. Um, the wood up front, this wood, the wood to build these was all wood that was laying around in my friend's yard. So it was all free. Actually, a lot of this was pretty much free or very, very cheap. The cushions that are in here, I found oh, in the middle beautiful. of the desert. And right. we took them and just washed them. And to wring them out, we like jumped on them, uh -huh. which was super fun. <laughs> and so then I made the cushions. They're crooked, whatever. Yeah. Um, the bed is actually just a regular twin size bed. Uh -huh. It came with two of these pullouts. So I used one of them because I bought a fridge slide, but you have to attach it to walls. I didn't know how to build the walls. Plus I'm using it for storage in there. I don't need a wall under there. So I sent it back and I put this in here and it works perfect. Yeah. You know, it's not on a track. So sometimes it gets off kilter and you have to kind of, you know, sit on it, climb over it, move it a little bit, but you know, it happens oh, and it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I built it and I love it. Hey, mommy, you're doing okay. You're fine. And you've got look, your... at how, look at how good you're being. Look at, look at, look at. Look at how good. <laughs> hey, hey, pay attention. Mommy, look how good you're being. Look how good. That is such yeah, a she's, sweet dog. She's a good girl. She's dog. new. She doesn't. Look how good you're being, mommy. Hi. 
that. We've done, okay. I've done like three interviews and nobody's ever asked. All me. right. Let's just see about the toilet because most people want to know. How do you shower? How do you go to the bathroom? That's important stuff. Yeah. So I tried the cassette toilet. Mm -hmm. They're horrible. Let me give you a tip on cassette toilets. If you are in the heat, which we are in the desert, I live in the desert. I am from the desert. They have this little slide that you have to open to let the solids fall down into the water. Okay. If you lift the lid, then pull the slide, it burps, which means you are bent right over it. You will have feces on your face. I'm just saying. Mm. Second time that happened, I got rid of that thing. I was done. Yeah. So, yeah. Be aware with cassette toilets. They burp. Okay. Um, so... I, I got the cassette toilet because it felt more like a toilet. I didn't want to do this, but I've done all the other toilets. So I ended up with this. It's just the um, a five gallon bucket with the luggable blue lid. And I bought a, um, these are on Amazon, like three for $2. Yeah. And they're specimen containers for urine. Yeah. Medical. You want to get the medical ones because they have the bigger, you can hold more volume in them. Um, and I used to do the pellets, wood pellets mm -hmm. to put in there. Um, but it was something else to carry, which was okay until I got the kittens. Yeah. Now I have two kittens. So I was in my friend's driveway living there for a while. And I thought, well, let me check this out and see if this works. I started taking the dirty kitty litter and dumping it in there. Dirty kitty litter, not the clean stuff. Yeah. It works. Oh, that's awesome. It works. Recycling. It's not super smelly, right? You don't have to put it in your trash. You don't have a ton of trash from kitty litter. It covers up your stuff. Yeah. Makes it not smell. Two in one. I love anything two in yeah. one. Yeah. And then, so then I have like a little coffee can where I put my urine. Of course, I painted it. And then I just dump that in the morning. And it, it makes this last. I can go a week easy. Wow. Without dumping this. That's amazing. So when I was putting urine in there, it would be a couple days. Yeah. So I can actually stay out here for two weeks. Wow. Yeah. That's I've amazing. got enough water. I don't have to worry about dumping the toilet. So basically every system I built a backup system for. I've got my little sink over here and it runs to a water tank over here under the bed. And I did the water tank under the bed so that if I go into freezing conditions, it won't freeze. And I wrapped all of my lines so that it wouldn't freeze. And I've also got a heat pad under there that I can flip on, wow. runs off of solar. But there's no warning that you're about to run out of water. You just run out and then you have to suddenly pack everything up and break camp. I can't do that with all the animals I have. So hidden back here, I have a seven gallon container connected to a USB pump shower head. I've got seven more gallons. Last me a few more days. Wow. My propane is the same. I've got a little, I've got a 20 gallon and then I've got a five gallon hidden behind the seat. So I don't have to break camp if I run out of propane. Um, I've got a solar system up top and then I've also got my Jackery that runs off of a folding solar panel outside as a backup wow. um, solar system. Cause I watched too many videos of people not having a backup system, their system breaks, and then they are just, oh my God, what do I do? Plus I also have a generator outside for when it's cloudy. Wow. So you have done it right. I tried to like think of everything, but I do not have a heater, but I'm in the hot flash mode anyway. So <laughs> it doesn't seem super important. Um, so I just use the burner for in the desert because it is a moist heat. Um, mm -hmm. But when I went up to Oregon for work camping, I very quickly found out that it is a moist heat and you cannot use it in moist or humid weather. I had actual raindrops coming off of my ceiling and I ended up with mold. Mm. So I bought this little guy, but I have to run the generator to run it. So like in a campground, if you get up at 6 AM, mm. you can't get warm until nine. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason I camp like BLM away from people. And because I have animals that dogs, like to eat so <laughs> I just keep my distance from people and what do you like about this life rather than being in a sticks and bricks <sighs> everything literally everything um, I ended up in this life I didn't choose it um, but 
like when I lost everything, I thought, oh my God, this is the end of the world. Like I should just commit suicide. I, and I thought about it. It was really bad. And then I realized like, cause my daughter offered me, well, you can have the van. And so I said, well, great. I'll just go live in the van then like trying to make her feel guilty for wanting to move out away from mom. She's 31. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of time with her. Most people don't. Um, so at first there was that blaming and what am I going to do? It's all about me. And then I called my friend and he kind of mediated between us and she said, mom, I'm living your dream. And that hit me. I homeschooled her. I did not raise her to be a sheep. I wanted her to always be strong and follow her dreams. And so then I realized like, oh my God, okay. So I'm proud of her. <laughs> and now I feel like an ass because, you know, I've said all these terrible things. And so I went to my room and groveled and I started looking up van life because now I've got this van and I found Bob Wells and I saw him teaching ladies my age how to live van life. Where do you poop? Where do you shower? How do you, you know, and I was like, wow, I could really do this. And on day four, I hired, called and hired someone to start building my van. That's got up awesome. out of bed and got my shit together. That's amazing. And then I realized, honestly, she set me free. Yeah. Now I can travel. I can do all these things as long as she would have allowed me to continue to take care of her and the kids, mm -hmm. I would have kept doing it, yeah. you know? So I'm much happier. She's much happier. I've been working with a life coach to find my happiness and let go of like old angers and stuff, which is something I never did. I never had time. Yep. I was always taking care of everyone else. It's something I've done my whole life, yeah. you know? So yeah, that's yeah, good to get out here and spend some alone time and learn who I really am, what I really want, what I really need. I've never done that, which mm -hmm. a lot of women don't. Right. We spend our whole lives caring for everyone else and we don't even know who we are. Mm -hmm. And so this is the perfect age to, to be doing this out yeah. here, just discovering yep. myself, yep. losing myself and finding myself yep. all at the same time. And you're Incredible. still doing caretaking. You've got yes, your animals. Yes, I've got a lot of animals, <laughs> but I struggle with depression. So I have to get up in the morning to take care of them. Yeah. And once I'm up, then it's like, gosh, you know, we could go on a bike ride or yeah. look at the weather. It's so fantastic. We should go down to the lake, you know? Yeah. So, and if there's nothing to do, literally I have a home on wheels. Yeah. I can get in and we can go find a lake if that's what we want to do. Yeah. So yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's honestly the best thing I've ever done. I wish I would have done it sooner, but yeah. younger me would not have been ready for this. Yeah. So everything happens. I think when it's supposed to. There's certainly a lot of people who are afraid to take this step. Yeah. And just... and I, I would have been the same way. I would have been mm -hmm. afraid even if I had chosen this. Like I had looked into like the van life and stuff before and I just thought, well, yeah, that'll never happen. So let's just set that aside. <laughs> and but it did. And it's beautiful. You've got such an amazing Thank van. You. I love your, your decoration. Thank you. It's really Honestly, that's beautiful. where I spent most of my money. That's what I would do. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> it's my home. Is. You know, it's not a school bus anymore. This is home. Yeah. So let me see. Under that's... Underneath here is where I have my fridge and stuff. So this might seem like a lot of work to some people. But for me, it works because I didn't want this stuff, you know, Taking mm -hmm. up my space. I love to cook and I love my kitchen. So yeah. most of my bus is kitchen. Yeah. And plus I'm a food hoarder. So <laughs> got to have room for all that food. So I had oh, my trash in here. Nice. All of the, this is all animal foods. Okay. So I pull this out in the morning, open this up. I've got home, homemade cooked dog food or whatever. I get it all out, make all their stuff and shove it back in under there is some storage space the litter box is under there for now. So I have to pull this all the way out, sit on it, flip over, acro yoga under there, yes. <laughs> you know, pull it out, get out from under the bed and, you know, put it on the, in the toilet and do all that and then get back in there and put it, but you know, keeps Keep, me young. I just think keeps yeah. you flexible. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to shove it all back in there. This is my diet plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> Yeah. And really, I only get in the fridge like once a day. So, yeah. <laughs> and that's in the morning. I pull out whatever I need in the morning. Like I don't really get in there during the day too much. And then mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of storage under these, but the wheel wells are here. So okay. there's not a lot. Um, in here is all of my clothes. And by clothes, I mean this kind of stuff and hoodies. Mm -hmm. 
And so mm -hmm. big stuff like um, jackets, rain gear, that kind of stuff, like gear, snow pants is all, there's a little bit of space. You can kind of see it. There's from here up yep. is space. So I put things in bags. So all the bathing suits are in one bag. Yeah. All the snow gear is in one bag. And that stuff has to fit there. So if that stuff doesn't fit there and that stuff doesn't fit there, there's too much. I've got to get rid of something. That is good. <laughs> and so that's kind of the rule. Oh, what's attacking me? Hi. I've got some kitties. <laughs> um, yeah. I've got my kitties. Oh, I'm surprised she's up. She doesn't come out for anyone. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Look at you. Oh, you did good. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Look she looks like a baby. She's very shy. They're brother and sister. Oh. He's just huge compared to her. And she never comes out when there's someone in oh, here. I'm flattered. Maybe she doesn't notice me. You're invincible. Look at you. So this is Unji means snow in Cherokee, and that is Usti. I call him Usti Yona. Usti means little or baby, and Yona is bear, so he's a little bear. Oh. The Cherokee only do one name. They don't okay. have double names. Okay. But Usti Yona is actually a, um, a Cherokee lullaby. Oh. So his name is Usti. But he turned out huge. So yeah. <laughs> then I said, how about little bear? We'll go with little bear. So, yeah, okay. I mean, this came out of the minivan also. This was sitting over the wheel well, and it had a piece here. This was an old, um, like, chair to sit and play piano. Mm -hmm. And it had the cubbies. We put the doors on it to make doors. And then the piece that was here was kind of, was kind of like that. And so we turned it into a pigeon cage okay. in the minivan, and that's where my pigeon slept. And then she had little nests on each side and she could go back and forth between the nests. She wears diapers, of course, because she's flying over my face. <laughs> um, but yeah, this fit right over the wheel well. So we got to use two pieces from the minivan mm. in here, which I love. I love reusing anything. Yeah, yeah you've done you know, really amazing. And, amazing job. Oh, I'll show you how I shower. That's an important thing. So I have, this kind of sucks. I have to move this to in here, but you know, I didn't know what I was doing. So I have in here, it's hard to see, I don't know how to play. Okay. There's a little pool. Mm -hmm. This is a pool and it folds up. If you're gonna do this, you need a claw foot shower curtain. It's the only kind of shower curtain that is long enough to go around. A regular one won't do it. Okay. So I put my bathtub right here. I just kind of move this stuff and my little shower pumps up or you can do the USB shower, right? And you use these little hooks if you have this kind of roof. If not, you can put some other kind of little hooks up. This one I just move over here. And then when I get to here, this is where my shower stuff is. I move that out. I run the curtain where this is open, mm. right? And then I pump up my little shower, take my shower. If you want, like if you use a lot of water, these pools have a, like a little, a little spigot or something. Right, where you yeah. can, so it won't, it won't fit a hose onto okay. it, but they have these things called water bandits. The water bandit will clip right on there. You can attach the hose to the water bandit and run it right outside. Wow. I don't use that much water, so I don't bother with all that. I can literally just pick up the pool and take it outside because I use very, very little water. Um, yeah, so that's how I shower. It's pretty simple. It does suck on days that it is rainy because mm -hmm. you have to put the shower curtain outside to dry it. Yeah. And it's a very big shower curtain. So rainy days, you're kind of spit bathing and it is what it is. Yep. You know, I mean, there's, there's things you got to give up to do this lifestyle. And that is one of them. Yeah. It's I worth do, it though. <laughs> yeah. I do have a outdoor shower. Um, one of the shower tents, you can't use that in the desert. It's just too windy. I put it up two days later, I had to take it down. Then I put it up two days later. Yes. Yeah. So when I'm in the desert, I do this. And then when I am in the forest, I pop that thing up and it stays up like yeah. the whole, yeah, the whole winter. Yeah. And it's incredible. I never have to take it down. Nice. <laughs> it's just there. The water. So I have a solar shower. When I'm there, you can't just set it outside. So you have to boil. Right. So, you know, there's yeah. things that you have to give up. I mean, but oh, I can't even tell you how worth it it is. This. Yeah has been the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> it's just the best. This was actually when I had a bird rescue 
This was written on the side of one of our gallons of water that we would take around and feed the birds and water them because rescue is so exhausting. And it's usually rescues are one person trying to run the whole thing by themselves. You're doing social media, you're doing all the care, you're taking phone calls, you're doing intakes, you're doing medical care, you're, there's so much and you're exhausted. So you need these little pick-me-ups. And I actually saw a picture that I had taken of that gallon before I threw it away. And so mm. I had this and I didn't know what to do with it. So I wrote it on there. And so every day before I go in and out, mm. I see that. Nice. And it reminds me like every day I got this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's really all about how you think. Yep. I used to be very negative and every day I had a bad day. And now I get up and honestly, the first thing I do is I roll over. And I look at this, I go, oh my gosh, you built this. And it is incredible. Good for you. And I'm just, I, I smile every morning. Mm -hmm. I force myself to roll over. And like a lot of people will like, and I'll make this ugly face or whatever. I roll over and I go, even if it doesn't feel good. And then it just starts naturally happening. Yeah. Like now I roll over and I'm just like, Nice. <laughs> yeah, it just naturally happens now. And you can't be angry with a smile on your face. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, I do have a generator. And that's what this step is for. That's where my generator travels. So that's my generator's little spot. And it makes a little cubby hole. And so on the other side of this cubby hole over here, Whoever had this previously put a cat door in. Oh, wow. So that's what I'm here at Van Aid for, is to get this built out so the cats can play in here with kind of like a cage type stuff on the outside, oh, maybe. Wow. With a board over it. The board can come up, be a table. They can play under the table, mm -hmm. right? And be kind of outdoors. And I'm going to put the cat box in there. So oh. that it has to open up so I can get the cat box out. Nice. <laughs> so that's the plan. But yeah, I have... Um, what do you call this? The awning, which I love. It's a game changer as far as heat. Mm -hmm. um, if you have the awning or even anything you can put up to block the sun in the summer in the desert, it's definitely a game changer. And I did block out the one window where um, my clothes are inside. And don't mind this, I'm actually drawing to put a mural on here. And I have a friend that is doing a mural on the other side if you want to go check it out. Mm -hmm. She actually inspired me to try my hand at the murals. Oh yeah, and I've got a bike rack on the front. That's a double-decker stroller and it all breaks down, but that's how two of the birds travel. One in each stroller and yeah. they both buckle in. I've got to get pictures of them. <laughs> Look at this, isn't this incredible? Yeah. <laughs> so she started so on this amazing. yesterday. And she's already gotten this far. I can't believe it. <laughs> and I do have air ride so that it brings up the back end because I have a lot of weight in my back end, but the air ride has broken twice now. Oh. So I don't, I'm not really sure how to exit. When I bought it, it had this wrap. That's um, very handy. Looks like it was made out of like fed pieces. This came off of the minivan. It is a swing away. Mm -hmm. So for the minivan, it would swing away so that you could open the, the back hatch, which was super useful. They say it's bear proof. This took a lot of the, the hit when I got hit. This was all dented in. It popped right back out. So yeah, this thing is great. They're 800 bucks though, but it comes with the swing away. Yeah. It comes with the locking pin so it can stay swung away. It hooks up. It's got a good lock. It's got a plug in it. You can use it as a bathtub or an mm -hmm. ice chest. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a lot of good, good quality. Yeah. Now you have a YouTube page. Yes. And what's the name of it? I just changed it. Um, Birdie's Bus with a Y. B I R D Y. Birdie's Bus. Okay. Yep. It's not this one. This is no longer a thing. Okay. No longer a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna scrape that off when we get done here. <laughs> and we've got some animals over here. We might as well say hello to them. Yep, so we've got the two cats in there. And then we've got... Thank you. We've got Timber. And I just adopted her. You are so dirty. 
That's okay. She got peed on yesterday. <laughs> she got peed on. I just adopted her. Yeah. Uh, you are in such November. A sweetie. Up in the mountains on the way home from Oregon from my work camping job. <laughs> yup. I just adopted her, so she's new. And she got eye boogies and everything. And then that is Lindy. He is a rooster and he has brain damage. He was attacked by five turkeys who went around the rescue and killed everything they could. He got mm. caught in a fence, which is why he is still alive. They couldn't finish him off. But he doesn't crow. He doesn't eat on his own. He walks in circles all day. <laughs> mm. um, yeah. He hikes, bikes, kayaks, because he kind of will just sit in one spot. Okay. So he gets to do all the fun stuff with me. He wears diapers with his name embroidered on them. Here's one. It's kind of turned inside out, but there's his name. <laughs> And he sleeps in bed with me. He cuddles with all of us. And then his new wife, which I don't think he knows is his wife yet. This is Lily. And Hi, she's Lily. in a wheelchair. Oh, she made a poo-poo. Hi, right, dear. Let me see. Come here. <laughs> so she laid an egg and it got stuck and mm. it pinched nerves. And so that's why she's in a wheelchair. She's very new. I picked her up about 13 days ago. Wow. But she's already starting to move her legs, which is really good. She had nothing when I picked her up. That's amazing. Yeah. And now she's she's making a lot of progress. She's going to the bathroom by herself. She couldn't do that when I got her 10 days ago. So she might actually walk again. Oh, yeah, definitely. I had a duck that walked again, but it took a year. Oh, wow. I think she'll just take maybe like another month. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he remembers stuff occasionally, like he didn't groom when I got him, he, mm -hmm. all he did was sleep. He grooms now, oh. sometimes he pecks at the ground when he sees an ant. He doesn't get it, he's way off. Oh. He dust bathes sometimes. So about every three months he remembers something that yeah. he's supposed to know. So it's still there. It's just a lot of sleeping and a lot of, a lot of stimulating his brain. Yep. And that's why he hikes, bikes, kayaks and we're trying to always create new things to stimulate his brain. Yeah. When he's in here, this is what he does. He walks circles. Yeah. When we're hiking, when we're biking, when we're kayaking, as long as I'm moving, he's going. Oh. Well, if I see you, I'll have to get a and picture he's of always, you doing that. Always talking, always thinking, always. Yeah. He's not thinking in here. Right. You know? So I'm always trying to stimulate yeah. him to think, and it, it comes back. Yeah. It does. It's just really slow progress. Oh, that's I've awesome. had him a year now. And he's made a lot of progress. He was almost dead when I got yeah. him. He didn't look like that. He looked really terrible. Oh, oh and then I have a pigeon over here. So this is... Can we see you? He's pretty. This is Sugar. We can't tell if Sugar's a boy or a girl. Sugar's a jerk. Sugar runs... The entire house, right? Don't you do it. He's, he's not able to fly. Um, a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, he, he, would be. She's, he or she, I don't know, is relearning. Yep. So she's kind of going counter to counter, practicing. Yep. it would be coyote meat out here if yeah. you let her go. Yep. Yeah. Anywhere, because she had PMV and it's a neurological disorder, so their head flips upside down. But even when their head flips right ways back up, it's still in their head. It's like... um. What do they call that? Where you, it's like in the inner ear and you're yeah. always off like vertigo. center, like vertigo. Yeah. yeah. So she'll never fly again. Little things between the counters and stuff. But if I let her go, basically she'll fly up and kind of flop back mm. down. Yeah. She wouldn't make it. Yeah. We had so many birds with this. Yeah. We rescued over 7,000 birds with lofty wow. hopes. Wow. Yeah. Most yeah. of the birds that have her condition or all the broken wings stuff like that they're here in Arizona they were transported here so this lady took them all so she has about 700 birds and the rest were all rehabbed and were releasable there was very few that um, needed to be put down so yeah well we did a lot of rescue. this is amazing well I'm thank still rescuing yeah <laughs> Thank you so much for this interview. Yeah, you you're have a welcome. beautiful everything here. Just <laughs> thank just you. Awesome. <laughs> I'm starting a mural on this side, so we'll see how that goes. Well, maybe we'll have to catch up and do an addendum. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a blank canvas.
Well, I've got a, a lady on the other side who, if I mess up, she can fix it. Okay. <laughs> That's the plan. All right. Well, thank you. And then everyone can check Birdie's... Birdie's bus. Bus. <laughs> I was kind of stuck on it, too. Like, what's my... Yeah. <laughs> it's new. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.